Getting some serious high rollers in here now. Uh, don't get me wrong, we can make a hero out of anything and anybody, but... I mean, is it so wrong to want to work in a really nice car every once in a while? Now off you go, and bring me back a Bentley. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Four hundred meters. Turn left. In two hundred meters, turn sharp right. meters, turn left. In 100 meters, turn sharp right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on! Oh, Bentley Continental GT. We just look at it. Your eyes just sort of slide off it, it's so smooth. Yeah, we can work with this, come on. Klein says they made a bet with a friend, and now they have to turn their ultimate luxury cruiser into a race car. Well, that was silly of them. meters, turn right. Turn right. Shame to even tinker with this one, doesn't it? Nah, don't worry. Our mechanics are artists. They've pulled it off. Oh, have they ever pulled it off? Come see. Improved aerodynamics, reduced weight, and a full rear wheel drive conversion. So it's no less luxurious, but now it can really put down that power. Right, we have to have this ready for the client to make good on their bet. They're racing later today in Ambleside. You can test it out on the way there. What do you think? It's definitely got the speed and the handling. Does it still have the luxury? Aye, looks like it. handle itself as a proper GT racer now. Wonder who the client made this silly bet with anyway. Hang on. 
of whomever they're racing as a client to. Like, that's a bit of a conflict of interest, isn't it? Upgrade Heroes does not take sides. Right, your work is done. I, I might stick around and talk to the client about this bet of theirs. Wait, why do we always have to be racing one another? Can't we all just agree the cars are the real winners?